A Black Hornet nano drone in Ukraine is the future of infantry ops. When I was in the 101st Airborne, one of our infantry battle drills was called Movement to Contact. It's an offensive maneuver designed to actively locate and engage the enemy by moving towards their suspected position, essentially aiming to establish or regain contact with the enemy. It's a tactical action where the commander chooses when and how to decisively engage the enemy based on the information gathered during the movement. Basically, the commander conducts a movement to contact when the enemy situation is vague or not specific enough to conduct an attack. Now, the standard operating procedure might need to be rewritten. If we had a Black Hornet Nano when I was in the infantry, we wouldn't have had to wander around the desert until we stumbled on the enemy. Hey friends, Wes here. If you're new to my channel, I have a degree in global security. I'll be graduating law school in April, served in two branches of the US military, and speak bad Russian because mudro zuchats protivnika. Now, after three years of brutal combat, Ukraine has cemented itself as one of the most innovative military forces on the planet, especially when it comes to drones. We've seen everything from consumer quadcopters dropping grenades to repurposed agricultural drones delivering precision strikes. But what if every single infantry squad had their own personal drone? Enter the Black Hornet. The Black Hornet Nano, or the Black Hornet 4, is a military-grade palmed-sized reconnaissance drone that's already made its way to Ukrainian Special Forces units operating in Kursk. These tiny UAVs, developed by Norwegian company Prox Dynamics, now part of Teledyne FLIR, are giving Ukrainian troops a crucial edge in battlefield awareness. And at just 18 grams, lighter than a single slice of bread, it's one of the smallest military drones ever deployed. Last year, Norway doubled down on its commitment to Ukraine's drone warfare capabilities, announcing the procurement of an additional 1,000 Black Hornet unmanned aerial systems for Ukraine. Along with the drones, Ukraine will receive spare parts, maintenance, and training for operators and instructors. This follows 2022's delivery of nearly 300 Black Hornet systems donated through the UK-led International Fund for Ukraine. And according to Norway's Defense Minister Bjorn Graham, quote, Ukraine is very satisfied with the previous Norwegian deliveries of this type of reconnaissance drone, end quote. It's easy to see why. Since last summer, Ukrainian forces have been putting the Black Hornet drones through their paces in real combat conditions with impressive results. These drones have operated in extreme environments, helping troops conduct reconnaissance without exposing themselves to enemy fire. The Black Hornet isn't just a hit in Ukraine. Teledyne FLIR has supplied over 14,000 of these personal reconnaissance systems to military and security forces in more than 40 countries. The US Army alone has invested over $140 million in Black Hornet orders over the last five years as part of its soldier-borne sensor program. With Norway now sending another 1,000 of these tiny but mighty drones, Ukraine's ability to gather real-time intelligence just got a serious upgrade. The Black Hornet isn't just small, it's practically invisible. In an urban environment, it's nearly impossible to spot from more than 20 meters away. It makes almost no noise, blends into the background, and can scout enemy positions without giving away the operator's location. Its lightweight build and whisper quiet operation make it an ideal tool for stealth reconnaissance. Soldiers can launch it from a carrying case in under 20 seconds, send it into contested zones, and receive live streamed intelligence in real time. Unlike larger drones, which require dedicated launch and recovery zones, the Black Hornet can be operated from inside a trench, inside a vehicle, or even behind cover. This flexibility allows troops to gather crucial intelligence while remaining hidden and protected. Also, the Black Hornet's encrypted communication systems ensure that intercepted transmissions are nearly impossible to decode, keeping mission-critical information secure. It also employs frequency hopping, which reduces the likelihood of jamming or interference by enemy electronic warfare units. This means that even in heavily contested electronic environments, Ukrainian forces can rely on the Black Hornet to function when it matters most. Ukrainian Special Operations Forces have demonstrated its effectiveness in real combat conditions. They use it to peer into every crevice of enemy positions, keeping their forces out of harm's way while gathering critical intel. The military describes it as a force multiplier. 
Remember, every time you say the words force multiplier, somewhere in the world a puppy dies. The latest version, the Black Hornet 4, has stepped things up even further. Weighing 70 grams, it can be deployed in under 20 seconds and flies for over 30 minutes on a single charge. It has a top speed of 10 meters per second, 35 feet per second, can handle wind gusts of up to 34 miles per hour, and transmits high definition video to its operator up to two kilometers away. It's also smart, really smart. The Black Hornet 4 comes equipped with autonomous capabilities, meaning it can operate beyond the line of sight and even in GPS denied environments. It features built-in maps, uh, collision avoidance, and can follow a virtual string line to navigate around obstacles like buildings, trenches, or urban corners. If it encounters unexpected conditions, it can return to base automatically. At its core, the Black Hornet is a reconnaissance tool, packing an ultra-small thermal camera, a 12 megapixel optical camera, and even a white LED lamp. It streams real-time video at 1280 by 720 resolution and captures thermal images at 512 by 640 pixels, allowing soldiers to see at night or through smoke and debris. But its capabilities don't stop there. Another significant upgrade is its improved endurance and adaptability. The drone can fly pre-programmed missions autonomously, freeing up soldiers to focus on their objectives without needing constant manual control. Beyond frontline reconnaissance, the Black Hornet 4 can also be used for search and rescue missions, surveying hazardous areas, and coordinating artillery or air support by providing an unparalleled level of situational awareness. It ensures that troops can react faster and with greater precision, ultimately reducing the risks associated with direct combat engagements. Cutting edge technology comes with a price tag. Each Black Hornet system, comprised of two drones, a controller, and a charging station, costs tens of thousands of dollars. The US Army alone ordered $94 million worth of them in 2023, showing just how valuable these drones are becoming in modern warfare. But despite that cost, the investment is justified by the tactical advantage the Black Hornet provides. The ability to conduct real-time reconnaissance without putting soldiers in harm's way significantly reduces casualties and enhances mission success rates. What's more, the durability of the system ensures long-term use, with operators able to deploy and recharge drones multiple times throughout missions. The Black Hornet 4 has also recently won the U.S. Department of Defense's Blue UAS Refresh Award, making it one of the few systems authorized for NDAA compliance and cybersecurity verification. This means it's now cleared for widespread adoption by U.S. forces and international allies, like Ukraine. Future iterations may feature improved sensors, extended flight times, and even integration with other battlefield technologies. As more militaries recognize the utility of micro-drones, production costs may decrease, making widespread deployment more feasible. If Ukraine has taught the world anything about modern combat, it's that the side with the best drones is going to win. The Black Hornet is more than just a cool gadget. It's a life-saving reconnaissance tool that I wish I had when I was in the military. I know this sounds like a sponsored segment. Teledyne Fleer is not sponsoring this video. I'm just smitten with technology. In a battlefield where every inch of ground is contested, having an undetectable drone that can scout ahead could be the difference between life and death. And while the Black Hornet doesn't carry any weapons yet, it's not hard to imagine a future where micro drones are armed with more than just cameras. Advances in miniaturized explosives or electronic warfare payloads could turn these reconnaissance drones into offensive tools capable of disrupting enemy positions, jamming communications, or even disabling vehicles. As artificial intelligence continues to evolve, future versions of the Black Hornet could incorporate enhanced machine learning capabilities, allowing them to independently identify threats, track enemy movements, or even operate as a coordinated swarm. With ongoing development in nanotechnology and power efficiency, these micro drones could achieve longer flight times, improved stealth, and better durability. But for now, Ukraine soldiers are putting these high-tech eyes in the sky to good use, proving once again that in modern warfare, information is just as deadly as firepower. As technology advances, the role of drones in infantry operations will only grow, potentially reshaping the very nature of ground combat in the years to come. 
And that to me is something I wish I had when I was in the 101st. That's it for today, friends. Remember, subscribing is the single best way to show support for this channel. And as always, glory to Ukraine, glory to the heroes. Crimea is Ukraine.